This is All India Radio, Shillong. The North East News Bulletin, read by Rahul Chatterjee. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said Centre and Assam government are working together to develop infrastructure in the state, dedicating important projects of the oil and gas sector to the nation at an event organised at Silapathar in Themaji district. The Prime Minister said, despite the state having great potential, former governments gave it a stepmotherly treatment by overlooking development in various sectors. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also digitally dedicated to the nation the Indmax unit at Indian Oil's Bongaigao refinery, Oil India Limited's secondary tank farm at Madhuban Dibugar, and a gas compressor station at Hebeda village, Makum, Tinsukia. He also inaugura inaugurated the Dhimaji Engineering College and laid the foundation stone for Sualkochi Engineering College. The Manipur state government said that all the flight passengers coming from Maharashtra and Kerala will be tested for COVID-19 soon after their arrival to Manipur. Manipur State Health Services has issued an order informing that COVID-19 positive cases have resurged in Maharashtra and Kerala recently. Therefore, passengers coming from these two states by air will be tested for COVID-19 with effect from tomorrow on a regular basis at Bir Tikendrajit International Airport of, of Imphal. The matter was also discussed at the budget session of Manipur Legislative Assembly. The Chief Minister of Manipur, N. Biren Singh, informed the House that big states of this country have been reporting a resurgence of positive cases and less populated states like Manipur need to take care at the maximum. The 12th session of the 11th Manipur Legislative Assembly, which began from the 3rd of this month, concluded yesterday. On the last day of the session, Chief Minister N. Biren Singh informed the House that the ceasefire of Indo-Naga peace talk has not extended in Manipur. Biren Singh also tabled the white paper on tackling COVID-19 pandemic, while the Deputy Chief Minister Y. Joy Kumar Singh laid the medium-term fiscal policy statement, fiscal policy strategy statement, and macroeconomic statement and disclosure on the table of the House yesterday. Manipur State Planning Authority Bill 2021 and Manipur Appropriation Bill were also passed by the House. Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma has informed that the state government has rolled out a program that will benefit the ones aspiring to become successful entrepreneurs. Sangma in his tweet announced that Meghalaya is rolling out the Chief Minister's E-Champion Challenge 2.0 after a successful first phase. More details pertaining to the program have been made available. The last date for receipt of applications is March 31. It may be mentioned that the Chief Minister had on Friday announced that a corpus fund of 125 crore rupees will be constituted over the next two years as the prime fund in a bid to promote the entrepreneurs of the state. Meghalaya Bharat Scouts and Guides yesterday celebrated Founders Day and World Thinking Day at its state headquarters in Shillong to commemorate the birth anniversary of the founder of the movement, Lord Baden-Powell and Lady Baden-Powell. Speaking on the occasion, former Meghalaya Chief Secretary P.J. Baisley said that the movement is built on the foundation of trust, respect and tolerance and these principles can usher in peace to the world. Baisley also inaugurated a three-day workshop for scouts, guides, rovers and rangers. The Kasi Jaintia Deficit School Teachers Association, along with its Garo Hills counterparts, yesterday decided to give 14 days' time to the state government to clear their dues, failing which the teachers will be compelled to adopt other confrontational programs. Speaking to the media at the Shillong Press Club, the Vice President Mrs. Susan said that the demand of the teachers for implementing the recommendation of the Fifth Pay Commission for the Deficit School Teachers in the state, retirement benefits and other facilities have fallen into the deaf ears of the state government. She said that the teachers have been toiling over the years in order to improve the standard of education in the state and the state government is unwilling to give their just demand. She strongly criticized the state government's lukewarm attitude to come to the rescue for its inability to clear the 30 crore rupees dues to the teachers. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from All India Radio. Shalom. Have a nice day.